Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first six commandments, and now it's time for the seventh, Thou shalt not steal. We've discussed what it means to steal, and how possessions are supposed to work according to the will of God. This week, what about workplace laziness? Does that violate the seventh commandment? Remember that again, the big taboo with regard to the seventh commandment is harming people through possessions. Because of this, we need to ask, is it harmful to be lazy and slack off in the workplace? When you go to work, you've been hired to do a job. There's a deal between you and your employer, sometimes informal, but usually formal, as in the case of a contract. This deal is essentially an exchange of goods and services. The employer is buying services from you, and in exchange, offering you goods. The services that they're buying can be described as steady work during work hours. The goods they offer in exchange usually come in the form of a paycheck or bank deposit, though not always. Any goods or even another service might be offered in exchange for work. Because of this, if you enter into this contract but then slack off on the job, you're taking the goods offered by your employer but not giving them what you agreed to in exchange. Therefore, this can essentially be considered the same as cheating someone, with one slight difference. Sometimes, when you cheat someone, you might do so in a way that they wouldn't consider particularly harmful. When you're employed, the employer clearly considers the position important enough to not only hire someone, but to process all the needed paperwork and go to the trouble of paying out money for the job. So even if the employer were incredibly rich, it would still be dishonest and harmful to rob them of the services they've paid for. Because of this, deliberate laziness at work is more likely to violate the Seventh Commandment than the other forms of cheating are. In the same way that these things can be said about workplace laziness, they can also be said about violating other forms of contracts, business or otherwise. Unless, of course, you find yourself morally obligated not to obey the terms of the contract. In those cases, though, it's better to simply quit the contract than to cheat the person on the other end. Next time, what about wastefulness? What is it? Is it against the Seventh Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.